All right, um, today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to root um, your Droid Bionic, Droid 3, Razor, or Droid 4. Uh, we're going to use this tool right here. It's called Moto Fail. And we're going to make sure you have the Motorola drivers installed, either the 32 bit or the 64, based on your system. So you want to go ahead and install those, and then you want to run this right here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, click this application hit yes to run it and then we're gonna read through the directions here it says this is tested on Droid 3, Bionic, Droid Razor and Droid 4 and it says the first thing that you want to do is and make sure USB debugging is enabled and that you have the Motorola drivers installed and you're connected via USB so first we're gonna go into the phone and we're going to go down here to settings and then we're going to go down to applications development I know if it's hard to see this might be guys but up here it says USB debugging and just make sure it's checked with the green box um, if you got that you then you have that requisite mate met so then what we're going to do is we're going to take our USB cable that's cooked to our computer and I've already installed the Motorola drivers so we're going to plug this in and there you go now we're connecting up and uh, now all we gotta do is come over here up on the computer and now we've met our requirements of the Motorola drivers are installed and we have USB debugging enabled um, all you have to do is um, press enter to root your phone so let's push enter on our computer here alright can it run starting now? Demon started successfully. All right, rebooting device because it exploit complete. So you're gonna actually reboot the device. I think a couple times in this process, um, and you'll probably hear it droiding on every time it does it here for you guys. Um, but just be patient with it. I think it reboots maybe twice, three times, and it will completely work. Um, done it many times on my Bionic. My Bionic is what we're doing it on right now. I'm on. I think it's 5.9.905 on the Bionic. I know the latest uh, OTA update of the Droid 3. This works on that on it. Um, I have not tested myself on the Droid Razor and Droid 4, but supposedly it does does work. So let's let this thing reboot. Um, shouldn't take too long here. Now it doesn't boot as near as fast as a uh, custom ROM. I'll tell you guys that much right now. It's, it's much faster uh, booting up with a custom ROM. All right, there we go. We're rebooted. Should go to the next part of the root process here. Um, give it a sec. All right, attempting persistence, mounting successful, cleaning up, will fail. Exploit complete and rebooting. So let's let this thing reboot again and see where we get from there. Alright, we powered back up. So it's now just waiting for the uh, program on the computer to see that the phone is booted up and let it finish its process here. Alright. There you go. Exploit complete. Press any key to exit. So we're going to push our shift bar. And it is done. Now let's go into the phone and make sure we have super user and check out that stuff. So look at our phone here. Give it a sec. Let's go down to our app drawer. Scroll over. Scroll over. Sorry. All right, there we go. There's super user right there. So we're going to hit it. And okay. And then we want to actually go to settings, preferences here. And I want to go down and I want to check for updates. So update anyway. All right, it asks for super user and you said allow. And there you go. That's it. You have super user, you have root, and you are good to go. You can unplug the phone, and that is the process of rooting, rooting or root, or whatever you want to call it, on the Droid Bionic 
uh, or the Droid 3 or the 4 or the Razer. So check it out, give it a shot. Uh, very easy. I will put um, links to the drivers and the Moto Fail root and everything you need in the description. Uh, check it out, guys. Thanks.